Disney knows a thing or two about matchmaking and as a result has given birth to some of our favorite Disney couples both on and off the screen. So it's no mystery why these Disney relationships form. The Disney family is basically like a close-knit fraternity sorority where the stars are around each other 24-7 so no doubt sparks are going to fly. In fact, the Disney matchmaking machine has produced enough happy couples to make a video about it. Tis why we're bringing you a list of five Disney couples we'll always love despite the fact that they all parted ways. Rest in peace, Disney lovers. First up is a duo whose love you may have forgotten originated with Disney. It's Britney Spears and JT, also known as the former power couple of teen Popdom. Britney and Justin met while starring together on the Mickey Mouse Club back in the 90s alongside Christina Aguilera, and the level of adorable was off the charts. Check this out. And you How cute were they? As you can see, Brittany and Justin have known each other forever, and while we think they were adorable together back in the day, both have moved on and are very happy in their new lives filled with babies and Vegas headlining. Next up is the camp rock duo Demi Lovato and Joe Jonas. The relationship didn't last long, but it still warmed a very special place in our hearts, which basically happens every time two people who have an on-screen romance get together in real life. And honestly, I'm still waiting for Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio to have a thing. Let's be real. But Joe and Demi have always been good friends, so many wondered why the pair called it quits, but Joe later spoke out about their romantic relationship, saying that Demi substance abuse struggles were eventually what drove the two apart. But now all is well and both are healthily dating. Moving down the Jonas Brother family tree, the one bro Jonas who is making a double appearance on our Disney couples list is the youngest of the three, Nick Jonas. So the first Disney relationship he had was with none other than Miley Cyrus. Nick was a Jonas Brother, Miley was a Hannah from Montana who was actually from Tennessee and their love was adored by many. They were the Kate Middleton and the Prince William of Disney back in the day. I mean, anyone remember when the Jonas Brothers went on tour with the Hannah Montana Best of Both Worlds tour and Miley was rocking that pink trench coat? Ah, those were the days. After they broke up, Miley released her song Seven Things, which everyone knew was about Nick, and she later confirmed their relationship in her book Miles to Go and told Seventeen Magazine that when they broke up, she bawled for a month straight. I know, sad, but Nick also got all up in his fills in 2013 when he wrote Wedding Bells, which is a song about the love of his life getting married to another guy. Needless to say, everyone safely assumed that the woman in question was Miley because she was engaged to Liam Hemsworth at the time. But all is well now because both have moved on to greener pastures. Nick is dating a former beauty queen and Miley is killing the music game. But as promised, yet another Disney relationship involving Mr. It's my right to be hellish, but I still You'll get jealous, Jonas, is between him and Selena Gomez. Jelena has definitely clouded my memory, so I'm sorry that I couldn't even remember Selena being with anyone before Justin, but Nick and Selena were indeed a thing. This was post Miley breakup, which makes things a tad awkward, judging from the fact that everyone knows everyone in the Disney camp, but I'm happy to report that there's no beef or Sam in between Miley and Selena, so it's all good. But there's no denying that Selena and Nick were adorable, and who remembers that she even played Nick's love interest in the Burnin' Up music video? Ah, there's a throwback for you. And finally, there is no way that we could leave off the Beyonce and Jay-Z of Disney couples, Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. After High School Musical, these two turned their on-screen romance into a real-life relationship that lasted over three years, which is basically like 10 in Hollywood years, which is why we got so attached. This real life, Troy and Gabriella did three high school musical movies together before calling it quits in 2010. But multiple sources have said that there was no drama around the breakup and that the split was mutual because they both felt the relationship had run its course. 
Yes, we loved them all, but Nelly Furtado's right. Sometimes all good things must come to an end, so instead of wallowing, we celebrate what was. So which of these Disney couples were your favorites? Well, let us know in the comment section right below, and don't forget to subscribe, and then hey, you've gotta click right over here to check out some things you didn't know about Miley Cyrus. And this one's really good, you guys. So thanks for hanging out on Clever News. I'm Ryland Adams, and I will see you right here next time.